my feelings and my review about uh, how I went in for a breast reduction surgery. Actually, uh, I wish to go in for surgery because of three reasons. One was, of course, cosmetic reasons because I was uh, suffering from a lot of embarrassment because of the size of my breasts. But more than that, it was uh, causing me a lot of uh, shoulder pain, the upper shoulders, the upper arm just close to the shoulder and the portion just behind my uh, neck. And it was causing a lot of pain, especially in the evenings and nights. And then uh, I had heard about a surgery in Ahmedabad where uh, a lady had won a mediclaim because uh, she proved that uh, the size of the breast and the weight of the breast was causing her cervical pain and all. So I was debating and uh, actually I have been uh, you know wanting to do this since the past 10 years but there was always a yes and no, uh, yes and no factor. My husband was not very keen about it and I too had some uh, reservations about how everything would go, like would it be very painful. More than that, I was uh, dreading the cost of the surgery because uh, without even searching over the internet, in those days of course, the internet was not a very, not very ex accessible. Along with the, I mean with the invention of the smartphones, this has become more possible. So I used to think that it would cost me some lakhs of rupees, say 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs and that I did not have enough funds for that. But now, over the years, with the pass passage of time and uh, even my age, I started experiencing more pain than often. And so I again had a discussion with my husband and we thought, why not uh, search uh, the side effects of having this surgery done over the internet? So we found that um, the side effects were very minimal and uh, it would not be any insertion of any foreign body. So that was a more uh, decisive factor in my going for it. Secondly, uh, and then uh, suddenly I remember that my niece was working for a group of hospitals. So it just crossed my mind. It was just like, you know, uh, I was praying that I am able to decide uh, whether to go in for surgery or not. And then somehow uh, this prayers worked and uh, I thought of my niece who works in uh, Surat and uh, I remember that uh, she had a contact with many doctors. So I just happened to ask her casually in the month of October when I came for the Diwali holidays whether she knew of any cosmetic surgeon. And she said, oh yes, I know Dr. Ashutosh Shah. And uh, I, I, we just took an appointment with him. It was, a, it was very casual, just very, very casual. And I came here hoping uh, for the best and fearing the worst, but I did come. And uh, I would term Dr. Ashutosh Shah as Dr. Cool. I would call him Dr. Cool. He was so calm, so patient. The first consulta consultation that I had, he just, uh, I mean, of course, he, ex uh, what he asked me to uh, show him what I needed and he decided upon it. And I was not uh, embarrassed at all because I knew somehow, the moment I saw him, I knew I was in good hands. And uh, that uh, feeling remains even till now. That I have received the best of what I had expected and of course more than I expected. So he first uh, uh, saw me and uh, he said uh, I would be needing uh, one particular, there are different ways of doing this surgery depending on the size and the weight and the, I mean the whatever uh, cosmetically also uh, considering all that uh, he said I would have to go for one particular type of surg surgery and he told me the cost which I found was very very reasonable considering the stay in a special room also 
and the surgery and the medical cost. So, it was almost, say, within a range of, say, two lakhs, everything included. So I found that quite reasonable as per my financial status. Well, to tell you about the surgery, uh, it was, he asked me to take a decision on my own. First, he asked me to have a discussion again with my husband. And I went back to Mumbai and uh, had a good talk with my husband. My husband also was miraculously convinced when I told him all that. But of course, there were always some doubts and queries which, you know, kept on occurring as soon as we shared this with the family, they were also, why are you going in for it and it's against nature's call or whatever. I said, no, I have made a decision. And somehow I was very confident that it would work out very well. So then came the decision for surgery. I had to go for the previous, I mean, the medical uh, checkups which are required for preparation of surgery and uh, getting an appointment was also easy because the doctor was very very helpful of course uh, then we decided the date of the surgery i got my tests done and then uh, he again we came to ask him we had a online we asked uh, on phone on phone call, uh, some queries which we had, which we needed to, you know, get an answer for. And uh, his assistant, Dr. Chetan, helped us out very well. And they were always available. The moment we called them, they were always at available to us. And that was also a very good thing. Then uh, the surgery was scheduled and uh, doctor told us about how many days it would take. The surgery would be a three hours surgery and then... Uh, uh, I, in fact, I would be uh, immediately, I mean, uh, brought to consciousness as soon as the operation was over. After that, uh, the, when the surgery date was fixed, that evening, uh, just before the operation, again I had my some queries to be, you know, when I read the form I had to sign. I felt I should need, I need to know more about it. So, doctor came in in the OT and he said, uh, don't go to read all that, I will explain in uh, short. And he was so friendly, so cool. In fact, he was even singing in the OT. He's a very uh, calm person, Dr. Cool again as I call him. And he explained to me all the pros and the cons and I knew that I just trusted my Lord and uh, the doctor because everything that the uh, uh, that the doctor is gifted with is from God. So I just surrendered myself to God and to Him and His team of uh, doctors and nurses and all. And uh, when I came back to consciousness, it was just as soon as the operation was over, and I did not feel any pain. Except uh, the doctor had warned me that I would get a slight pain where the fat would be removed on the sides. But uh, it was a tolerable kind of pain. And uh, I was kept in the ICU for one night because just for uh, you know, observation, to be kept under observation. And in the uh, Apple hospital where I was uh, admitted, the staff was working round the clock. They were very cooperative. They were all the time monitoring my pressure and other vitals. And uh, constantly and they were very, very, very cooperative and very humble. Not a word of complaint, not a word of grumbling. I, I have never seen a staff like this. And I am not exaggerating, believe me. It was a very wonderful staff in the ICU. Then the next morning I was asked to sit up, uh, but because of the bandages I was a little, it was a little inconvenient, but the pain was very, uh, very, very tolerable. I did not, ex I did not even feel that I had had a surgery, except for the bandages stretching across, but otherwise absolutely no pain. 
I was able to sit up, have my breakfast. Um, then doctor asked me to be shifted to the room. So there also, there was a constant monitoring of my blood pressure and other vital statistics or whatever the, my sugar levels, everything. And uh, the staff again, the nurses, the doctors, the even the physiotherapist, everyone was excellent. And believe me, I'm not doing it uh, to boost uh, someone's uh, ego or somebody like something like that. It is the truth. Believe me, it was a wonderful experience for me. I was treated like a princess. And uh, it's not an exaggeration. Uh, later on, the next day, I was I was able to sit up. I was even made to walk by the physiotherapist and made to do a little exercises. And uh, I could do them. I could walk about. Of course, the first day it was a little slightly pain, slightly painful, but then uh, nothing to complain about. And the very next day, I was discharged. And the uh, doctor asked me to come for a follow-up to Elegance Clinic where the staff is excellent. The dressing part also I tell you, they were so very cooperative whenever I said I, this was failing. They were so accommodating, so very, very uh, humble and uh, you know, uh, I really appreciate, I salute the staff of Elegance Clinic. And it's all, I'm sure, because of the mastermind over there, Dr. Ashutosh Shah. Let me tell you, whoever wants to know how I have lost my weight, how I'm feeling so confident and so, so happy about what I have done, I am going to recommend him. Uh, and I would give him a rating of 5.5 out of 5. Okay, so I tell you, he's an excellent doctor. His, uh, his expertise has really amazed me and his humble nature, down-to-earth personality, very cool attitude, just puts everybody to rest. So, hats off to your doctor and your team of uh, doctors, nurses, assistants, all are marvelous. Thank you so much.